All right, we are back in the Gazette Radio Hour with, on AM 1220 KHS Santa Cruz Hometown Station. Special special show today with uh, Hans, not Doug. Don't know if it's any better or any worse. We'll have to wait and see. You might have a permanent gig. We'll have to talk. I like, I like the name John and Friends. John and Friends. John and Friends. <laughs> on Fox and Friends. All right, we're talking to Adam Healy, one of the trainers at Afterburn Fitness. I guess you're now the trainer at Afterburn Fitness. Isn't that right, Adam? Uh, I'm the general manager. General yeah. manager. All right. I didn't want to insult you because mm -hmm. I'd be doing burpees forever. Um, <laughs> all right. So, oh, actually, Hans had a question. Okay. So, so Adam, so let's say, well, now let's say I want to lose, let's say, 20, 30 pounds. Okay. What is the best pill, I, I guess referred to as magic pill or miracle pill, whatever it is, to take? Uh, there is none. There is no magic pill out there. <clears throat> um, and if there is... If somebody tries to tell you there is, they're just trying to steal your money from you. <clears throat> the best, the best, by far the best thing you can ever do to, to drop weight is, is get, you know, dialed in with your nutrition. I mean, that's number one. And then you're working out. There are supplements that can help um, speed things up a little bit, but there is nothing that's going to be the, you know, the magic pill in two weeks you're going to, you know, look great in a bikini. <clears throat> not saying that, you know, you don't look good in a bikini. Uh, I can see Hans, he was not looking good in a Thank bikini. You. Just turn that off. <laughs> <laughs> but there, there are no magic pills that do that. There are pills that, that aid in the fat reduction, um, but it, it will take, you know, a balanced, proper nutrition and, you know, a routine workout. All right. So, so what kind of <clears throat> pills are we talking about that would, would aid in this? And, and, and how much well, aid are we talking? I mean, is it, is it something you can do without it, these pills? Are there... There's so many yeah, questions. You, you could do it without the pills, absolutely. And and I always recommend, um, you know, natural is better. People refer to, like, a fat burner. Um, mm -hmm. Fat burners are nothing more than a stimulant. They increase, you know, your blood pressure and get your heart rate popping, you know, going, 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 which I don't recommend if you just had, you know, a heart procedure done. Yeah. Um, but, in, you know, for the most part, that's their job. They're supposed to increase increase your blood flow and just get everything moving. Now, you know, they sell them as reason why, you know, you're, you've got, you're burning all this energy because it boosted your, it's not boosting your metabolism. It's just boosting everything else. But if you're eating properly and, you know, if you're eating the five meals a day every three hours and you're naturally increasing your, your metabolism and you're stabilizing your, your, you know, your glucose levels and all that mm -hmm. good stuff. So your metabolism is starting to speed up. If you take a fat burner, um, usually it's during your snack periods, like your two snack times. Right. It does help boost the metabolism up a little bit more. Um, but other than that, there's nothing magic that's happening. I mean, it's kind of more or less if you're just having a groggy day, it'll help pick you up and get you through the day. Okay. <clears throat> but it's, it's definitely not going to be your, look at me, it's bikini time. Well, is there anything that... Um helps with appetite suppression because that was one that I was I mean to me when I tried to, to lose weight and you're eating six meals a day or five meals a day or whatever yeah I was never oh. hungry I was almost too right. full but there's right. a lot of people who don't eat that like that and don't try that type of diet is there anything with regard to like appetite suppression that you've well, seen that, that I mean is that even that, worth it it's not worth it I mean suppressing your appetite is not going to help you reduce weight it's just going to help you burn more muscle and retain more body fat um, so that's the last thing you want to do is suppress your appetite. You want to eat. The thing is you want to eat quality food. And just like we talked about every three hours, and that's where the hard part comes in. There are pills, um, like CLA, CLA is great. Um, it's a great supplement because what CLA is, it's a fatty acid and it's a fatty acid that you can get through eating red meat, but eating too much red meat is not good for you because of the high cholesterol and the saturated fat. So, but the fatty acid or the CLA helps the body metabolize fat as energy. Um, so they've taken this, this fatty acid out of the red meat and put it into a supplement form. So now you can avoid eating the red meat and still get the benefits from it. Oh, perfect. So there's little things like that that are great to take. They're perfectly safe. Um, they're, they're, not, they're not fat burners. The people will refer to them as a natural fat burner, but it's not right. a fat burner because it doesn't. You know, you're know, you not increasing your, your stimulus or your adrenal glands. You're just, it's just helping aid in metabolizing your fat as energy. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So uh, what about a pre-workout thing? Because I know a lot of people take like, a, <laughs> even Gatorade has a pre-workout thing that is supposed to give you energy to work out faster and better and stronger. I know, right? Everybody's doing the yeah. pre-workout now. Um, 
pre-workout, the real, the only difference between what a fat burner is and a pre-workout is they both give you energy. Um, they both, you know, get your, get your blood flowing and pre-workouts. You know, I, I, I would take a pre-workout if you're somebody that, you know, maybe you're, you just got off a 12 hour day and you need some energy to work out. Sometimes that's great. Some of the pre-workouts though, the difference between the two are is a pre-workout usually has some kind of workout aid in it. So it might come already with creatine in it. It might have glutamine. It might have a BCA in it. Um, some of them have um, synthetic testosterone boosters in it. Oh, and that's what a pre-workout is. Okay. You know, does all that stuff really work? Does the testosterone booster work? There's no proof that says those do. But there are a lot of benefits to a pre-workout if you're somebody that, you know, needs that energy at five o'clock in the morning if you're working out or, you know, five o'clock at night after a long day. Right. Um, but as far as, you know, that's the only difference is it gives you energy. You can still take your creatine separately, separately and still get the same benefit. Right. All right, Adam, real quick, if people want more information, how do they get in touch with you and how do they get in touch with Afterburn? Best way to get a hold of any of us is go to the website at afterburnfitness.com. All right. How's the challenge going? We're still doing the challenge, right? Challenge is good. We have two weeks left. Two weeks. Oh. We're in week six right now. Two yeah, more to go. These people are go. eating tilapia until it comes out their ears. Tilapia and asparagus. Oh. That is about it. Oh. <laughs> asparagus sounds good. Yeah, the tilapia. Very good. Very good. All right, Adam yeah. Healy, Afterbird Fitness. Thanks, Adam. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. All right, we'll take everything you said to heart. Hat, no pun intended. Well, actually, the pun was intended. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you listen to the Gazette Radio with Doug and John on AM 1220 KHCS Santa Cruz Hometown Station with Hans. <laughs> All right, we are back. The Gazette Radio with Doug and John and Hans and special guest Kyle Jillings, station manager all around uh, Dodger aficionado. Um, I am 1220 KHTS Center Quarters Home. I was a correspondent last time I was on here. My title Oh, was... you want to be Dodger correspondent? Yeah, I was, oh, but I no, it. it's too late now. No, no I don't no, want I, it anymore. And you okay. blew it, John. You blew Kyle it. Kyle Jillings, Dodger correspondent. Yes, I appreciate that. That's Can we me. emphasize unpaid Dodger correspondent? <laughs> yes. Yes, no, there is <laughs> definitely an unpaid, unpaid aspect to this. Yes. yes. All right, so I have a theory. All okay, right. you have a theory. I have a theory. Looking back at, and it, it, it spells doom for the Dodgers, unfortunately, unless they make some more roster moves, or they've got people that I'm not aware of. Yeah. But you take a look back at the last couple of years, and yeah, maybe I'm a little biased because I'm an Orioles fan, but it seems to me that you, no need, rivalry there. you need starting pitching that goes four or five, maybe six innings. Mm-hmm. You need strong middle relief yep. to get to a shutdown closer. Yep. Uh, and that, and you take a look at everybody who's been successful the last couple of years. The Orioles twice in the playoffs with that type of, of mindset. Uh, the, I think the Royals played that to that was, a yeah. T last well, year. Well, the difference, though, the difference was their starting pitching didn't need to go six innings because yeah, their middle relief their middle was, so good, was but, but, but even if they went four, five, six innings, their exactly, middle relief was yeah. amazing. Even the Dodgers, you take out Baumgartner, okay, who probably <sighs> carried that team a lot longer. Uh, well, but, you could say Vogelsong still had a pretty rough, or solid year. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's still that middle relief that's, that's – I think that's the wave of baseball. Yeah, okay, I really it's a sabermetrics do. thing, I it's, think. I don't know what it's sabermetrics. I think it's just they've decided that they've got this pitch. Uh, well, sabermetrics as in the pitch count, yes. I yes, that's what I mean. Okay, yeah. uh, they're trying to see people's arms. And the Dodgers are going to be in some deep... Uh, and they haven't done really anything to fix that. I mean, they've gotten some some arms that are kind of been untested the last two years. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be their main thing. But the thing is that bothers me the most is the Matt Kemp to San Diego thing. Yeah. Uh, he went to San Diego. And San Diego is going to be a good baseball team this year. Their p- starting well, pitching is again. very good, but they don't have any middle relief. They, they don't have any middle relief. However, they're going to be compete. They're going to be able to win a lot more games with that outfield because they're going to score more runs. They have a lot of offensive firepower. Now. Yeah. Yeah, but... but I mean, Do you only give up two runs a game? All you need to yeah. score is three, and you're good to yeah. go. So... I, they're going to be a tough, tough team. They're going to be competitive this year. I don't think. I'm not sure. I'm not going to give them. Hey, they're going to run away with the division with the uh, defending champs and yeah, I think the Dodgers uh, in the same division. But they are going to be a lot better, significantly better this year. The West is going to be interesting because you got the Dodgers, who if they get in too big of a hole, and they could with Ken, with Jansen out for. Oh man! Yeah, uh, June. Yes. Yes. For a long true. time. For a period uh, of time. The, the, they're going to spend some the money. The starting pitching may get gassed out. They're gonna they're gonna start they're gonna start, they're gonna spend some money. Yes. Then you have the Giants who always seem to do just enough to hang around and then come back and win every other year. Oh, don't talk. I about know, that. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> it's every odd year. <laughs> every odd year. So yeah. This is... So they're taking a year off this year. They'll have a massive injury this year. Yeah. That'll keep them out of the playoff run. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Probably. So, yeah. So um, that's what we're hoping. That, no, I don't want to. That's, that's all you I don't can hope for people. Wow. Injured, thanks, but, Kyle. No, we're hoping they're not in the playoff the run. Good is what sport. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I just see you running up to to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I see you running up to the starting pitcher with a bat and heard him crying. Yeah. Why me? Yeah. 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 Uh, wow. Good old fashioned Tanya Harding. I know. We yeah. just pulled a Tanya Harding. I like that. On that. I like That's that. scary. Brainstorming. No, it, this is a brainstorming session, right? That's what this session. is. I, maybe they're listening. I mean, we are at the Dodger station, right? That's yeah, true. Yeah. Maybe they're they're yeah. listening and taking notes. Yeah. Get middle relievers. I don't know why I, they. I don't know. They, they know something that we don't. I hope because uh, that is how, that was the main issue. With the entire team last year, yeah, it, they could hit. They could hit in the clutch. They didn't hit in the clutch as much as they did the year before, but they were they were they could hit the ball. Starting pitching was fantastic with Granky and and yeah. Kershaw, obviously, you know. But yeah. and then the Jan, Kenley Jansen was a great closer. It's just they, he didn't have a chance to close. It everything. seems like they went in the opposite direction. It seems like it's like hey, let's spend more money yeah. on things that don't but, fit. The mold that they're not looking, ah, man, and it pains me to say this. I don't think they're looking to. I think they have their window. That window with this core group is still open, but it's a very small window. So they're like, if we end up getting into the playoffs and we end up winning this year, great. Are they kind of, we have long term goals though, and which is hurting. It just hurts me as a doctor. It's fan. it's you know something having survived several seasons of long term goals as an Orioles fan, <laughs> <laughs> several decades of long term goals as an Orioles fan. <laughs> Uh, when it comes to fruition, it's like, yeah, well, I was willing to wait all along. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, and that's yeah. what I'm I'm waiting for. Yeah. But yeah, man, it's, it's like it's been a journey, my all friends. All right. So let's talk, let's talk about the other divisions. Do you think uh, in the National League? Obviously, you're thinking it's going to have to be the Nationals. Yeah. They. I mean, oh, do you yeah. see anybody else? I don't know. That division is terrible. So I mean, I I feel like the Braves are always there, but their main thing they don't have a ton of starting pitching, and they've always been uh, you know they've always had you know five guys hitting thirty yeah. home runs, especially the last like five years. Yeah. Um. Uh, Hayward is. Eh, I just I just eh. see the Nationals running away with the entire National League. Yeah, and they yeah they might run away with the entire National League I mean, with they the could pitching, run and they have a they have an AL type of lineup. Yeah. And as long as Jason Worth isn't an idiot like he has been, uh, then well, I mean, they'll they'll yeah. hit the ball <laughs> off the field. I mean. Off the field. Off the field. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then the Braves then are always sneaky, though. Yeah, exactly. The Braves, Braves are, are always sneaky. sneaky, but they haven't been they haven't been able uh, to get out of the first round for the last couple of years. So I don't know about them. Do you have a team nobody talks about? And now we're switching to the don't AL. Don't say it. Oh, okay. We'll, switch, right. we'll switch to the AL. Okay. I'm not, no, I'm not. I thought you were going to go Cubs. No, and I was no, like, no, no, no. I, I would like not, to give some yet. love to the Cubs. Uh, seriously, oh, I would love to give some love to the Cubs this year. But you just can't this year. I can't. This I'm year. not going to because they haven't obviously done it in a billion decades. years. I think. I think it's been a billion, a billion years. years. A billion years. Yeah. But no, I mean, next I'm going to give billion. them love. No. That's it. I'm just going to say I'm going to give. No, them No, I think they've got. They've gotten better. They've got. They're on the road. They're doing. Yeah, absolutely. Put it this way: they're coming to the end of their long-term plan. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Their long-term plan is coming. An eight-year plan. And you know, and they've all been waiting for it to come into play. Yes. All right. Switching to the American League. Okay. Team nobody talks about. Angels. Yeah, they won the division last year, Thank and you. Richards got really hurt at the end of that season. Yeah. They were the best team in the American League. If they can stay healthy with the same exact lineup, uh, they're the, the whole Josh Hamilton like, thing. Yeah. Is oh well, well yeah. Josh, Josh. Hamilton that makes them better. Just so you know, no Josh Hamilton makes yeah, them it better. Could be, yeah, so in theory. I, I think uh, they, uh, if they stay healthy, they're 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 good to go. Yeah, I think that's it, it's uh, Seattle's not going to be bad. Yeah, I like some of the yeah. things they've done. Yeah. Um. I, obviously, the, rain, the the Royals. I mean, they're going to be the exact yeah, same. The thing. Royals, yeah, the Royals. They didn't lose. People forget that the Royals went to the World Series last year. Well, what's <laughs> funny is is you always sit there and you know, a team like that is secular. They come up, oh, yeah. They hit on a couple cool breaks, or a couple cool. You know, they get a couple cool breaks. A couple guys that they thought were not oh, going to yeah. be good, they pan out better than they thought. Oh yeah. And then they all leave. Yep. Because they get the big contracts. Yeah. The Marlins. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, that's a great. Well, example. the Marlins have a different plan. Their their game plan. Their front office no, staff. No, their plan is, is weird. It, they send them out. Yeah. M- most of the time, most and people. And they pay a guy a lot leave. of money. That's virtually yeah. the same thing as San Diego is shipping all their prize players out before they even reach position. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. That's a good so. Point. So all right. So, I love baseball though, and I'm excited so, for the so season to start. World Series. You're going Dodgers and who? Uh, Dodgers and uh, let's go Angels. Yeah, Dodgers Angels. I thought he was in Dod- Dod- Dodgers, Dodgers in seven. <laughs> wow. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much for uh, filling in, Hans. Thank you, Mr. Jennings, for talking baseball with us. AM 1220 KHS Center, Quick's Hometown Station, the Gazette Radio. We'll be back next week.